my friends, I am about to head off to the gym and it is 6 a.m. But um, my sister-in-law is actually here with us and her family. So I'm gonna be very quiet right now. But I'm gonna show you a glimpse of the house because it looks so perfect. So I went ahead and lit up all the garlands. The tree is just, it's so perfect this year. But the house just looks amazing. Oh my goodness. I love it. So as you know, I went with very traditional like Christmas colors this year. So I did red, white, and silver. So of course I had to get a swell bottle to match my decor because you can never have too many swell bottles. You guys, if you've been watching this channel, you know I truly believe in that statement. All right, I'm gonna head off to the gym. See you guys in a little bit. Oh my goodness, I am back from the gym. I haven't cleaned up yet. I'm doing some laundry. Um, I have like a really weird week this week. Actually, the laundry is still going. Um, that doesn't seem right, maybe. Anyway, it's good. I think I might have said the washer wrong today. It's going to be a really, really crazy week, so let me tell you kind of what's going on. So, it's Saturday, clearly, and Sunday I will be flying to Manhattan um, for work. I think we'll do these three papers. And... I'll go home really late Monday night, go to work Tuesday, and then Steven and I are heading to Ohio on Wednesday. I'm not hosting Thanksgiving this year, and we are actually going home to, my hair is a mess, um, and we're actually going to go home to my mom and dad's house. And I am gonna, look at that hair. It looks like I had curlers in it. Um, but um, we're gonna go home to my mom and dad's house in Ohio, and that's where we're gonna spend Thanksgiving. I am gonna vlog. There is going to be a Vlogmas video announcement where you can get the advent calendar. Um, this year, I took everyone's advice and I branded it a little bit better. So if it gets shared across so many platforms, I will um, have credit for it. Uh, but I'm super excited about this year's. Um, I'm just super excited about Vlogmas in general. My sister-in-law is here, um, but they are out right now. And um, we have their dog here. And Steven took Bubba's for a walk. But that is their dog, Charlie. 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 Hi. Everyone in that his family has a schnauzer except us. And then what I am doing is I am just wrapping up some gifts. And yes, I bought um, Forest of Shadows. It's a Frozen 2 book. I went and saw Frozen Thursday night and it was phenomenal. And I just want to go back and see it again. But I am also wrapping up my niece's Christmas gifts, which I do advent calendars for them each year. So I'm going to be wrapping them, and these are some of the paper that I'm going to be using. I might just do the red and silver, and then I'll show you some accessories I bought for wrapping gifts. Um, and of course they have to match my tree. So I have these little ornaments. I got a bunch of different ribbons to decorate with. I got these bells, also got these little tags, and then um, just some red and silver and white. Oh, I also bought ribbon there too. Um, so lots of ribbon, lots of ornaments, and we're going to wrap gifts. But we gotta talk about this tree. I am obsessed with it. It is the best tree I've ever decorated, and I'm gonna show you right now how I did it step by step. All right, so we are getting ready to decorate the tree, but my 2019 Spotify playlist is up. It's called Christopher Carroll's 2019, and you are all welcome to go and download it and follow it. It's amazing. It's all my favorite Christmas songs. So we're gonna get that going. And now it's time to decorate a tree. And I'm gonna walk you through my tips, and I've already set up the tree. I'll talk you through that process first. But 
as you know, this year I decided to go with red, silver, white, all really traditional Christmas colors, something that I usually don't do. So I've just laid out everything in a flat surface, not on top of each other, not in bins, so I can truly see everything I have. Here are some of my rules around putting up your tree. You must touch every single branch and make sure that it is really full. This is an enormous, I feel like it looks smaller on screen, but it's actually huge. It is a 10 foot Christmas tree from Balsam Hill. They are my favorite trees. I fluffed this tree for over an hour and not a single pine needle fell on my floor. I didn't even vacuum. So, Balsam Hill, amazing trees. I already love how lit it is, but I also add fairy lights in it for some twinkling, and I stick them all to the center core of the tree. Now, once you fluff it, we're gonna go step by step of what I do um, to get my tree ready. I've already put a tree skirt underneath it, but the branches actually go so low. But here's my tip. If you can see my tree skirt, see how like puffy and nice it is? That's because you stick tissue paper underneath to give it some oomph and pizzazz. So make sure that you just don't lay it because then it sinks in between the legs. Now, the first thing that we do not we do. The first thing that I do is I start with my ribbon. This is my favorite ribbon. Everything that I can link down below, I will. But a lot of these ornaments I won't be able to link. So my favorite ribbon, we're going to go through that. If you watched my first decorate with me when I did my staircase, you already know my trick to these. So we're gonna get going with the ribbon. When working with your ribbon, the thing is to not work with it within one spool. It becomes completely unmanageable. So what I do with all my ribbon first is I, I usually just use like the length of my table so I can keep it pretty even, but I do three to four foot pieces and I just cut them. This becomes so much easier to work with. And I mean, you don't have to be completely you can just eye, you can simply eyeball it. So I'm just gonna take both of these spools and cut them into three to four foot long pieces to work with. It makes it so much easier. I used to struggle with ribbon and it wasn't until I started just cutting it into smaller pieces that I really was able to start working with it. So just going to keep cutting and then we'll start arranging them on the tree. First of all, the camera wasn't recording, but as you will see, there's a sea of red ribbon because as I was going, I just didn't like the red. And the reason is, is so much of my decor and all my garlands are flocked. And I do have some flocked picks I'm going to put in, but I had this silver from last year that has flocking on it and I decided to go with it instead because I have enough red to make sure it still goes with my theme. And now I'm just stepping back and fixing and rearranging some of the ribbon if I think like it's showing too much or I think like this piece needs to go up higher. Like right there, I feel like that's too concentrated. I'm just gonna go through and adjust some of this. And sometimes I'll just take my scissors and cut it as I go. But you just have to step back. I like my ribbon to be pushed in pretty deep. This side I like. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I just don't love this cluster here. So I'm actually gonna cut this one and maybe tuck that somewhere else. I'm really disappointed that the footage stopped, but basically if you watch my garland video, I show you exactly how to put the ribbon on. So I'll leave that video linked down below, but I'm really happy with the ribbon. I do ribbon first because I think like it's the most tedious thing to put on. Now what I do is I go to picks. Now there are different quality picks and there are some that would go on first and some that would go on last. So ones that would go on first are these much bigger ones. Let me get in here. For example, something like this 
would go on first because I'm actually going to use this to fill in some spots around the tree. Little ones like this, I'll use once my ornaments are all on and I still have a couple spaces just because they're easy to work with. But these big branches, I'm going to go ahead and put on first. The reason I chose these flocked branches is because my garlands are all flocked. So I'm going to just bend, I'm just gonna bend this up so it looks like it will blend into the tree. And I'm just going to insert it into the branches, fluff it up, kind of blend it in, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and do that with these other four picks. While I'm doing it, I'm really going to try to balance it out as I go. I also bought these branches, so I'm actually going to cut them down a little bit. All right, so I broke up these branches and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to lay them in and balance some of this flocking out. Where I'm at with the tree so far is all the flocked pieces are in set and in. I'm not loving this section right here. I think this piece is too big. And I think I might, there's one. I feel, I can't really tell where it feels really unbalanced. That feels pretty good and balanced. And now I'm going to work on inserting all the bulbs inside deep into the tree. The ones I'm going to do that with are these enormous red ones. These big white ones. And then some of these other larger silver and white ones. So we're going to go ahead and get these ready to go inside the tree and help fill up some space. So these are the steps I've taken so far. It looks like Christmas blew up in here. As you know, fluff the tree, put on the twinkling lights, then added the ribbon, then added all my flocked picks to help it tie in with the garland, then inset all the larger balls inside the tree, then I started accessorizing with all the specialty ornaments out on the perimeter, tucking some in. I also added spinners, so if you look, some of these ornaments are spinning to give the tree some motion and dimension. It's really, really nice. You just have to make sure that the ornaments that you choose to spin are faceted, because if they're not, they won't catch that they're spinning. So, that's what we've done so far. It is looking absolutely beautiful. Now, I've added all the ornaments except for all of these little icicle drops. And these are just gonna go on the perimeter hanging from branches. And then lastly, we will go in with all our silver and red glittery picks. All right, the icicles are on. They're like the beautiful like earrings to the outfit. They just add like a little nice touch. And lastly, we're going to stick in these picks. Now, don't stick them in just like this. I like to open them up. And then I'm just gonna start tucking them in different spots of the tree. And I'm just gonna vary them around. I'm gonna put one color in at a time. So I'm gonna do all the silver ones first. The picks are in, the tree is done. And my friends, it's a lot of work. It took from start to finish process almost four hours. There's hundreds of ornaments on this tree. Um, but when it's done, it's so worth it. And it's just beautiful. I think it's the prettiest tree I've ever done. I really, really think so. It's so beautiful. And it's beautiful from everywhere. I'm in love with it. 
If I walk you through the process one more time, here are the steps. Fluff, you must touch every single branch. Then add your twinkle lights if your tree doesn't have them. Then add your ribbon. Add any large picks that are there to fill up space. Then insert all your large ornaments deep inside the tree with different finishes. Then on the perimeter, add all your more decorative ornaments. Next, fill in with all your little picks that are just for detail and sparkle. And then lastly, add your little icicles at the end, at the very tips of branches. It's, this is, it's unreal. And then the spinners that I got from um, an idea from Kinwoven, a site that I, a YouTube channel I've recently started following. I'm sure you've all heard of it. Just add such a cool detail to it. I'm in love with this tree. All right, my friends, that's how you decorate a Christmas tree. So I wrapped this package and I just looped the ribbon like you normally would horizontally and um, vertically. And now I'm just going to loop on some ornaments before I tie a bow. Here's the deal though. You have to keep, oh, that's really pretty. Um, you have to keep your ornaments at an odd number. If you do an even number, it will not look as good. I don't know what it is about odd numbers or what the science is around it. But aesthetically, odd numbers will always, always, always look better than even numbers. I'm going to cut some of these tails shorter, but I'm not going to waste this ribbon. I'm actually going to take this ribbon and loop it back in here. And just do like a easy knot. Because I don't want to waste this. It was $4 a spool. So I want to get my money's worth. So... I'm going to loop these in and then I'm going to grab a pen and I'm just going to spin these around and curl them. I'm going to even do because so there is one package. It looks so pretty and simple. All right, I am feeling like a cup of coffee, so I just pulled my milk cartridge from the fridge. I'm telling you, Christina Brawley, I know um, you are probably watching. Um, this was truly the best recommendation, the best thing I've ever bought from Amazon. Absolutely in love with it. And I'm also completely, completely in love with the holiday collection of Nespresso. Um, this one is Nordic Black, but I will tell you they are all delicious. This is the way I've been making my coffee, and I'll tell you, I don't even go to Starbucks because you don't have to. So I am obsessed with the toasted marshmallow syrup. So all I do is I put two pumps of that into my mug. Also, it's way less calories than drinks at Starbucks too. Then one capsule in, and just do an espresso shot. Then I take that one out. I like my milk froth like right in the middle, and then I hit the macchiato button. And it, I mean, you cannot, 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 cannot beat this machine. I am in love. And with that milk cartridge, every two days I just run it through the dishwasher. Um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. All right, I'm gonna drink this cup of coffee. I'm gonna read a little bit and then I'm gonna get all cleaned up. Um, all right, everyone, so I can't believe this already came because it came from the UK. Um, but on Instagram, the creator of, of Ampersand Crafts reached out to me. Now, I'm sharing it with you now, but it's going to be one of our things that we do on Vlogmas. So if you want to order one now, we could all do it together. I, since she shipped to me, I'm sure she will ship anywhere. Um, so this one that I ordered is a yarn garland kit. So she sends you all the yarn. It's beautiful. I love the colors. I picked a red, 
gray and creamy white kind of goes with the theme of this year. Um, the twine for the garland, the needle that you'll need. Okay, now I'm getting nervous that I will not be able to do this. <laughs> um, oh, she wrote me a note. Uh, her name is Sarah, by the way. Um, I hope that you like your craft kit and thank you so much for showcasing it in this year's Vlogmas and on social media. Um, so there's her little thank you note. Um, also, she is giving you guys all a 10% off your order um, with the code Christopher. So I'm going to leave everything linked down below. So she sends the pom-pom template, the tassel template, and then you also get all your directions. So once you learn how to do this, you can probably reuse the templates. I'm very nervous, um, but I'm going to do my best. Um, all the directions are step-by-step -step on the back. We are going to be doing this during Vlogmas, so if you wanna get yourself one, we can all kinda do it together. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna leave everything linked. The quality of the templates are really, really nice. Um, the yarn is beautiful. I'm super excited to dive into this. Um, I am crafty in a way, but I'm definitely more of like a decorator. Um, I'm not the best at creating. Thank you, Sarah. I can't wait. I hope I don't mess it up. If mine ends up looking lousy, it has nothing to do with Sarah because hers on her site are beautiful. It will have everything to do with my inability to do it well. Steven and I just came back from dinner and one thing that I um, have been thinking about for a while now and decided to finally do was upgrade my iPad. I have the original iPad Pro, like the very first one. Hi, hi. We have two dogs in the house. Um, I had the very first iPad Pro um, when it came out, I think in 2015. I've not upgraded my iPad since. Um, and I know I wanted to use this for some of the work that we were doing on the YouTube channel. Um, so I finally bought the 12.9 brand new iPad Pro. Um, 512, I didn't get one terabyte because I don't think I need that much memory. Um, so, have upgraded this bad boy um, to the new one. And it looks beautiful. So, um, there is no longer like the little home button. It's more like the iPhone. And I got the space gray, which is a different color for me. I normally wouldn't choose that. This is the original iPad Pro from 2015. And I'm just going to connect them both and sync them up and start setting them up. It is Sunday morning and my, oh, these are probably too, these feel way too ripe, these avocados. They feel way over ripe. Well, that's not actually bad. I thought for sure as mushy as it was, it was gonna be terrible. Um, I'm just making, a little bit of breakfast. I'm gonna eat a little bit of this avocado. I need to use some of this before I leave today. And I'm just scrambling an egg. Steven's sister has already left. And I'm making myself some breakfast. All right, and now it's time to just assemble my breakfast. This is actually based off of one of my favorite sandwiches from a local breakfast spot. I'm just going to do, do I open this. I mean this should tie me over until dinner tonight when I land. I'm just gonna top this with actually I'm gonna so with that arugula I'm gonna just hit it with a couple hits of hot sauce. I use Tabasco not like regular hot sauce. This is some egg. I'm gonna scoop out some of this avocado some everything bagel seasoning. Some more Tabasco sauce. And that is breakfast for this morning. So just take all your favorite ingredients from any breakfast sandwich and throw it in a bowl with greens instead of bread. And you have a healthy breakfast. And now this will literally hold me over until dinner time tonight. 
I fiddle with my iPad. I really love it. I went and saw Frozen 2 again last night. Please go see it. It's so good. I love it so much. Um, but I'm gonna have to wrap up this vlog because I have to hit to the airport at 1.30. Go ahead and catch me. I might do an Instagram live tonight. Um, yeah. Um, and Vlogmas is soon going to be here, but I'm gonna end this like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind, my friends. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time, which will be very soon. Bye-bye.